In order to start building the legs, uh, these are the parts you're going to need. Uh, making sure that you get these two tiny little bits here, which you'll find buried on the same sheet as this part in this little area here. Take these two and just bend them straight up. At the bottom, you bend that up too. So it should look like this. So starting with this part and this one here, you're going to slide it in together. And then at this end, you can see that little tab will fit into there. That should fit really nicely. Now you can glue down this edge and make sure that this part here is hard against this piece. If there's a gap, quickly slide that up. Hold that in place while it dries. And if you hold it with this against here, that will make sure it's nice and vertical. Once it's dry on the outside, you need to glue it on the inside, here and down here, but not there. If you run all the way to the end now, put some glue under there, if you flex it and then pop it in, that will move some of the glue into that hole. Be careful that it doesn't come through and burn you. On the outside we want to take one of these little tiny pieces and it's going to live that hole there. So let's glue that in now. It ends up sitting up vertical from this face. It wants to sit here, not like that. In there, straight up there. Not too much. Pop that in. And just double check that, that's about right. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other one. Remember, it's the one with the holes. Making sure that it's not overlapping there, that, that needs to not be like that. It wants to be nice and open to that point there. Again, if there's a gap at this end, now's your time to squeeze that two together. Now we're gonna put the other one of these in. Bead of glue glue and then straight up. Now insert this. Make sure he's not sitting above that point. Now ideally, in the same way that we glued the inside here, we'd like to glue the inside there. It's a bit tricky to get to now. So if you've got a long nose like I have on my glue gun, that's quite helpful. Uh, if you haven't, don't worry about it, you don't, it's not essential, uh, but it would be ideal to try and put some glue in there. Another way to do it is to just dribble the glue in from the top up here and then try and get it to go in the right place. We can certainly do it at the bottom. Don't go beyond this line here though. Now that's together, we just need to sort these little tabs out. So you need to rotate this until it goes past that slot, it needs to be lined up with it. If necessary, if it's easier, get yourself a bit of scrap card and slot it in to hold it in place. That way, when you glue it on this side, you know it's gonna be exactly where you want it to be. Be careful not to glue over that hole there. Repeat the same thing on the other side. For each of the other two legs, you're going to need these two parts here. Just take that out of there and put this to one side safely. Take this part here, this is the lower part of the leg, and you're going to bend this part up like that, and do the same with this. If you just put your fingernails here, you can just bend straight upwards. So all of these parts are facing up. Take your other part here, importantly, this is the one without the two holes in it. And you'll see this is going to slot in here really nicely. That slots in there. And at the other end, you can see that this just fits neatly into that little slot. Now, you want to glue down this edge and along here, but importantly, not into that slot. Also, don't glue this bit just yet. We can do the same thing on both sides. So 
squeeze that together. And if we make sure these sides are up, it will ensure that this is totally vertical. The back end here, you can rotate it past that slot. And if you get a bit of scrap card from the offcuts, slot it into here. It's going to hold this in place while we glue it. See that stops it from moving backwards. And whilst it's there, we can glue down this edge. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Repeat the same steps with the other two parts and you'll have three legs in total. So starting to assemble the main body, the control leg, our other two legs. And now we can start to assemble things together. Starting with this part here, all of these tabs need to be bent downwards. I would suggest you get your ruler and you use that to support the main part as you push these down. This one is particularly delicate, so just be careful with it. Do it really gently, we don't want to bend these bits. So now <clears throat> we're going to get this part here. This is the control arm leg. And we're going to get this part and we're inserting these two into these two recesses. And since this is now bendy, we can put these together, slot it in through there, and now you should be able to just slide that forwards. You can do the same thing on the other two corners. Now, this circle here has got two holes in, and it's very, very important that this goes the right way up. You'll notice it's got two cutouts here. They align with the control arm, but the hole over here needs to marry with that hole. So we're going to turn this over. And now this is in the right orientation. We want to insert our stick so that it's just poking through. And we want to glue around this and around the bottom. Now, with this still on the right hand side, we're going to start taking our little support pieces here and we're going to slot them into these long slots and we're going to glue them in place along the middle on both the front and the back. Repeat this for the other two. Now that that's done, it's time to insert this part into this part. We've now got this part and we're going to insert it into the centre. So we're going to rotate it up and then slot it underneath and then feed those two in there. We can now start to move around, tipping it, tipping it up and opening it until that sits underneath. Do the same on this side. And we, here we need to make sure that this stick gets into that hole. So we should be able to just tip it up. Move that into the hole, using that like a hinge. And now we should be able to push that down. You should see how that slots in there, just like that. Just make sure they're all slotted together nicely. We now need to glue these parts in. So we're going to lift it up slightly put some glue underneath and then sit it back down until the tab goes into the hole. Not too much glue is needed. And that can just sit in there. Repeat the same thing for the other two. Now you want to find this piece that we had earlier. We're going to bend these legs down. This part here wants to remain uppermost so that we can read it. Put it nice and flat on the table. We can now just lift that up. You want to do the same for the other one. Okay, so now you've got this with all these parts bent down, we're going to assemble it back onto the main body. With the control arm facing away from you, we can start to take this part. We've got our two slots here, so it just starts to slot in. And now, before you get too far, don't push this all the way down. 
we want to get the other ones installed as well. So rotate this one round, slot him home, and the same with this. If necessary, you can lever that arm open to be able to get it all in. So now they're all partially installed, we can squeeze this down. All the way around until it sits down properly. Just like we did on the underside with the support arms, we'll do the same with this. So we're going to flip it over, squirt some glue in at the back and the front, and then squidge it shut. There we go. Repeat this for the other two as well. That's now assembled. Now it's time to cap off these legs. So we'll do the simple ones first, and then we'll do the control arm. These two parts need the tabs at either end bending, so we'll just do that now. Again, if it's easier, use a ruler to help support that joint as you bend it. Now they're folded at this end, let's do the other end, and this one wants to fold down as well. So just checking, these ones are coming downwards, this one here wants to come downwards. Okay. Now we're going to do the same with that one. So we're going to put some glue along this edge first and then we'll feed the rest along. Insert your tabs and then push that all the way home. Make sure that's squashed nice and flat. Wait for that to dry and then we'll insert the rest. You see the tab there, now it wants to just drop into that hole. Come along to here, do the same thing again. And this part, you can allow it to lift up just for a moment, just so you can insert it into that slot. Now we're going to flip this over, and like we glued that edge, we're going to glue this edge. This end gets a bit trickier, so just move it around to make it easy for yourself. There we go, right down into that corner. Repeat on the other side. Do the same as this for this leg here. Now finally, we've got a little bit of a gap along here. We're just going to try and squirt some glue into there and then squeeze these two parts together. And you can see that, that moving part then will become nice and rigid. So if you just use your thumb, you can push this open a bit. Don't push too hard, just enough that you can get the tip of your glue gun in to squirt some glue in. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Um, do the same on the other edges. The last thing to do would be just to put a bit of glue on the inside here just to support this because at the minute this can move just a tiny bit. Now to finish off this control arm, I've got this major part here. At this end, this one can bend downwards. Checking that one's going downwards, these two need to come up. These two need to go down. Finally, at this end, both of these two parts go downwards. Pop it down on a table. When it's all folded, it should look like this. Folding down, down, up, down. This part here, you can fold that nicely towards yourself. You're going to take this part that we had earlier that we've already bent and got ready. And in the same way that we did before, we've got a single tab this time to insert in. That's going to insert in here. We're going to have glued underneath and we're going to do exactly what we did before, except this time got these two extra tabs and we need to make sure that they fit in to their respective homes which are these this recess on this side and a matching one over there so let's glue this edge like we did before We need to make sure we squeeze this down nicely. This one needs to be nice and flush because when the top here 
and the top part goes on here and it's rotating, we don't want it to snarl up on this edge. So we want to make sure this is nice and flat. Now we're going to start to rotate this round, but first we're going to squeeze these, these wings in, put them into their respective slots. And now we can start to push this home. If you put your fingers through these holes, you'll be able to manipulate the parts on the inside so that the tabs fit into these bits. So they're now fitting nicely. Keep working down this end. Just going to shimmy around until they fit in. It's nice and flush now. You can see it's sitting flush all the way down. And the last thing is to wedge this part in. So if we just push him in, that clicks into place. And now we need to seam weld that together with our glue gun all the way into there. And if we can get around this part as well. Right, do the same as this on the other side. Next thing to do is these parts here. This piece that we bent earlier, you'll notice if you're observant, it's thicker at this end than it is at this end, only slightly. But if you line these up onto here, you can see it needs to go this way round. These little ears go to these recesses. You rotate it over and then pop it into recess on the other side. Just make sure you push down here, make sure it's as low as it can go because we want our stick to be able to go through here. And now we're going to seam weld around these edges with our glue gun. The last thing to glue into place is a dowel rod that wants to go through here, out of here, and the associated supporting rings. So let's do that now. We're going to insert this through here, out there. And we want to get this in the middle. Now you can either eyeball it or you can measure it. Now what we want to do is we're going to glue, we're going to glue along that edge and the underside on here. There we go, got the six we need. We're going to slide them on, but we're also going to glue them on. So take the first one, slide it almost all the way, squirt some glue in, and then push that in and rotate it. Careful not to burn yourself on the glue. Do the same for another two. And do the same on the other side. Take your other 110 millimeter. It's going to insert into this hole here. So if you insert him all the way through. Now you might need to give him a little wobble, but it should fit through. There we go. Now again, we want to match them up the same length on either side. Now we're going to take the last two remaining um, cardboard circles and we're going to put one on either side. What we did before, we're going to slide this on and at the last minute, squirt some glue in, twist them around and then they seal all this thing together, make it nice and strong. Do the same thing on the other side. That's pretty much the base completely finished now. Uh, there's some more assembly work to do on the underside. We'll do that in step five.